You'll notice that this is quite a small measurement envelope machine, but look, can you see how bulky it is? So we've got a short leg, so basically more machines or traditional machines have a leg that goes this high. So we've got a very short leg because the machine runs on a rail here. The ceramic technology, you can see how thick that ceramic is, it's one of the most stable materials that you can put on a machine. So we've got very therm good thermal stability, we've got very good durability because ceramic, the only thing that will cut ceramic is a diamond. So durability wise, this will last forever. We're at MAC 2022 and I have the privilege to be joined by Steve Schickel, my good friend. Now, Steve, great exhibition. How you found it? Oh, it's been absolutely fantastic. I mean, we thought yesterday was a good day. Today, Thursday, we've had an even better day. So really, really good. Really pleased to be here. Now, the world has changed significantly in four years. How have your products evolved in four years and what new technology and solutions are you exhibiting at this show? That's a good question because we've not been sleeping. We've been really investing in new sensor technology, new machines. We've bought another company as well, so we've bought a full range of other machines too. But here today, we're looking at a different type of inspection when we're talking about accuracy. So this is our most accurate coordinate measure machine. Your most accurate within your product portfolio? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So all made out of East Midlands Airport, so UK manufactured. Um, so basically, the first term accuracy on this machine is 0.7 of a micron. Now, in, in the metrology world, if you've got a 7 micron tolerance, you should be measuring to 10% of that. So obviously, you would then need a 0.7 of a micron accurate machine. And this is what we have so here. So 0.7 of a micron, let's put that into perspective. You know, what is the thickness of an air? Right, so a strand of hair, obviously depending on how old you are, it's not thinning, but typically you're looking at 70 microns. So this is measuring 0.7 of a micron. So that's 100 times smaller than that. So you explained at the beginning of that statement that if you were to check a component, you need a, a CMM that can check 10 times more accurately than the dimension that you're checking. Yeah. What, why is this? Can you explain that in more detail? Yeah, well, that's right. I mean, basically, let's say for argument's sake, you're manufacturing something to say 10 microns. Your machine tool is good for 10 microns. Now, if your measurement device is only good for 10 microns, how do you know whether it's the part that's wrong or is it the measurement that's wrong? So in order to reduce that uncertainty in measurements, we make sure that the measurement device is 10 times more accurate than the manufacturing device. I mean, the most accurate CMM that Alke Metrology offer. Now, I've just seen it checking this gear. gear. Gears are a perfect example of a part, or critical part, if you like. Yeah. Um, what kind of software are you using to check the gear? Well, that's right. This is something new for us. So basically, we've now got, within our Cameo software, we've got a module for, uh, for being able to measure gears. So we've got a gear inspection module. And again, Steve, Go into a little bit more detail. Why is this so important? How would you have checked it before? How does this simplify the inspection of gears? Well, to be honest with you, there has been dedicated gear measuring machines. Generally, they are very, very expensive and they're dedicated to measuring gears. The beauty is with a CMM, you've got a universal measuring machine. So not only does it measure gears, it can measure anything that sits in that portfolio and that measurement volume. And typically, they are a lot less expensive as well. So it's a lot more flexible solution. Now, I'm just seeing the stylus pop into that, what looks like a, a hole. I've not seen anything like that before. What's, what, what's it doing there? So basically, best practice always says, if you were to use a micrometer, the first thing you do, you would close the jaws on a piece of paper, clean the jaws before you measure. This is exactly the same with the CMM. What the first thing we should do is ensure that the stylus is clean before we start measuring, because we're measuring 0.7 of a micron. Any little tiny contamination on that stylus is going to give you bad, bad measurements. So we clean the stylus before we measure. I've never seen that before. Is that unique to LK? Well, I think it's unique to us, what we've got the show here. I mean, I'm sure that this is available elsewhere, but this is something that we're promoting and dedicating to our uh, customers because ultimately they've not seen it before. Now it's now changing the probe here yep. and so you've got three different stations um, of um, uh, you know, like a t tool carousel, but a probe carousel. Yes. Um, yeah. is, is that set to free or could you have more than three stations? Yeah, sure, you can have as many as you want. We can stack these, we can have them in different tiers. So ov obviously the, you want to keep it as simple as, as possible because the more styluses you've got, the more probe angles, the more calibration. So we try and capture as much data as possible with minimum probe changes as possible because it's more cycle time, isn't it? So. And Steve, I'm just being inquisitive, probably a silly question, but what is the, the blue fixture at the back? 
Well, that's a good question. That's also new for us here at the show. So again, with measurement, if you've got any doubt with your measurement device, you need to verify it. So we've created a verification artifact, which has got UCAS traceable standards on there. So if you want to quickly check the geometry of the machine, you can measure some key features on there. And if they're intolerance, you know you're good to go. So you're good to go, but how does the machine achieve them tolerances? I mean, I can see at the top here, um, ceramic technology, is that the secret? Well, it's one of the parts of the secrets, but you'll notice that this is quite a small measurement envelope machine. But look, can you see how bulky it is? So we've got a short leg, so basically, more machines, or traditional machines, have a leg that goes this high. So we've got a very short leg, because the machine runs on a rail here. The ceramic technology, you can see how thick that ceramic is. It's one of the most stable materials that you can put on a machine. So we've got very therm good thermal stability. We've got very good durability because ceramic, the only thing that will cut ceramic is a diamond. So durability wise, this will last forever. Brilliant. And the name of the machine, Altera 8.7.6? So well, it's an Altera and it's an SL. So it's what we call a short leg. That's the measurement volume. So we've got 800 mil in the X, 700 mil in the Y, and 600 mil in the Z. It's a, it makes a refreshing change to the actual numbers on a product a, actually have a purpose. Uh, Steve, <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure to review this CMM with you um, and it's always great to catch up with you. So there you have it, the most accurate LK CMM um, and with lots of USPs at Mac 2022. Thanks, Steve. It's a pleasure. Thanks again.